Good morning, my dear students. Yet again, another beautiful, bright day, and this is Dr. Vani right in front of you on behalf of Vedantu with another super cool, super awesome, and amazing session right now, right here on yes, one of the most important topics that we've been discussing for the past two to three days. That is human physiology. So we've already done circulation and nutrition, and in today's class, we will do excretory products and their elimination. followed by the endocrine system and all other important topics of human physiology also towards the end of our sessions we are also going to do animal kingdom because animal kingdom is a little tricky there are so many things to buy heart in that and structural organization in animals those cockroach frog things which you sometimes don't understand but you have to remember them because they can come in examination so the last minute things are going to be extremely extremely difficult to remember and therefore we are going to do them in the last now i have some information which i want to share with you some things which i want to tell you number 1 you're left with just about 15 days some of you have been working hard for 3 long years some of you have been working for 2 long years आप सालों से मेहनत कर रहे हैं और सिर्फ लास्ट के पंद्रह दिन बचे हैं सो इस लास्ट के पंद्रह दिन में यू हैव टू वर्क वेरी 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 हार्ड इज दैट क्लियर एवरी सिंगल बट इन माई क्लास ये डोंट वरी वी आर ऑल देयर विद यू आई रिसीव सो मेनी मैसेजेस एंड मेल्स ऑन अ सिंगल डे एंड ऑन अ डेली बेसिस दैट यू नो वेदांत टू मीन्स अ लॉट टू यू यू गॉट ग्रेटली हेल्प बाई दिस सो डोंट वरी वी आर देयर विद यू till the very end and as promised to you from the beginning the last one week you have to stay connected with vedantu the last one week of your exams we are going to be bringing out a lot of extra information in really short capsules which will help you yes so don't go anywhere and if there's anything that's troubling you if there's anything that's bothering you agar aapka kabhi morale niche ho raha hai you're feeling low you're feeling sad you're feeling nahi ho payega just write to us on the email we will help you out so don't worry at all about that let's start today super cool session on excretory products and their elimination yes chaliye let's start okay so as i always always and always tell you in each of my classes number 1 is it clear and number 2 yes don't go anywhere the theory will be discussed but let me tell you right in the beginning of the lecture i had made youtube neat sessions on human physiology and in them the counter current mechanism the structure of the kidney today you will see so many questions which have come directly from that youtube lecture which i had made so please go back home whenever you have a little extra time whenever in between your books you have some time open that see the physiology lectures and please see the kidney lectures those of you who've seen the lecture and come will be greatly benefited yes so we will keep it a lecture at express speed correct everybody we will completely do the theory with every question we will do the question the answer and we will try and do 80 to 100 slides in one hour making it an extremely fruitful extremely extremely productive session yes so we express speed se chalte hain maximum questions in minimum time along with theory karne ki koshish karte hain cool chalo let's start okay uric acid is the chief or the main correct so uric acid is the chief main nitrogenous component of the excretory products of now you know you all yes we all have amino acids amino acids need to be deaminated in the human body inka amino group nikalna padta hai deaminate karne ke baad is amino group ko body se correct excrete karna padta hai this entire process of deamination and removal happens in the liver or this in cycle aap logo ne suna hoga it happens in the liver but the excretory part happens through the kidney so when you kind of deaminate it when you remove the amino group correct everybody we are left with three options hamare paas teen options hoti hai jisme ye amino acid teen alag alag tarah ki cheeze bana sakta hai one of them is called ammonia those organisms please pay attention to what i am saying very very important from mcq point of view those organisms which have increased body surface area those organisms who live in aquatic or you know aquatic areas because ammonia is very toxic it needs to be immediately removed from the body it cannot be stored अमोनिया बहुत टॉक्सिक होता है इसको इमीडिएटली बॉडी से रिमूव करना पड़ता है इनके लिए ऑर्गेनिजम्स को इंक्रीज सरफेस एरिया चाहिए और ये ऑर्गेनिजम्स एक्वेटिक होने चाहिए देन वी रिमूव इट फ्रॉम द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड एमनोटेलिज्म 
those organisms were basically anhydrous very important remember this word wo organisms jinki body mein pani ki kami hoti hai correct reptiles specifically jo pani nahi peete every day i received so many mails and really why i'm telling you again and again is because wo bachche likhte hain ki ma'am hame kahin par samajh nahi aa raha tha we were unable to understand hame theory nahi aati thi now we are able to solve the questions so please when i am saying this understand write down dekho bachcho sirf 15 din bacha hai whatever you listen to now will stay in your subconscious memory it will remain there correct everybody so please pay a lot of attention and listen to every word that i am saying this is important this word is important this word is important and this word is important so everything that i am saying is very 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 important right so anhydrous correct and one more last thing before i begin dekho bachcho zyada se zyada kya hoga right another 15 20 days aapka exam acha nahi hoga that's it i don't want you to give up on hope i don't want you to give up on your hard work maximum worst comes to worst what's going to happen is that your that doesn't end it right you can still sit relax we are going to be with you we will study one more year with renewed zeal more hope more you know uh, hard work and we will probably do it next year yes everybody there are so many of my children whom i know who skipped a year and and were all india toppers the next year so don't worry don't let any negativity come and hamper you come and you know trouble you right now in the last moment don't do that right now you just have to be positive you hope that you will clear the exam and whatever happens later on we will deal with it correct Yes, everybody. चलिए. So the second most important thing is amino acids. का हम क्या करते हैं? You know the amino acids. Some of them have to be excreted in anhydrous form. What is anhydrous form? That means those organisms who cannot excrete the waste material in the presence of water. So they excrete in the form of uric acid crystals. Correct. So uric acid crystals are excreted by those organisms who don't bring too much water, and therefore they have to excrete out an anh hydrous product or without water or those organisms who don't have too much of aqueous medium in their body right the third type of organisms have water so there is no problem of water but they want to store exactly they want to store the urea or the amino acid based product for some time so these these secrete out urea this secrete out uric acid this secretes out ammonia the ones which secrete out urea are known as ureotelic cool so uric acid kon secrete karega cockroach right everybody frog and man secrete out urea right tadpole is am ammonia so ammonotelic good cockroach shows uricotelism read everything that i'm telling you cockroach right excretion of uric acid is known as uricotelism and the animals which secrete uric acid are called as uricotelic animals which live in dry conditions have to conserve water in their body very very important for mcq so uricotelism is anhydrous right therefore they synthesize crystals of uric acid from ammonia uric acid crystals are non toxic like i told you ammonia is very very toxic it is almost insoluble in water hence they can be retained in the body for a considerable time you can keep them in the body for long time agar aapne ammonia kisi organism ki body mein long time ke liye rakh diya it will cause toxicity uricotelic animals include most insects example cockroach land reptiles lizards and snakes and birds is that clear any doubts cool let us move ahead yes which one of the following statements in regard to excretion is correct so many times i repeat this in each and every one of my classes when i am even taking the regular batches right correct ko bachche incorrect padhte not ko padhte nahi not correct likha hota hai correct mark karke aa jate hai is that clear don't do silly mistakes you have to decrease your silly mistakes in the examination correct very very important so which one of the following statements in regard to excretion by the human kidneys is correct is what they are asking you what are they asking you what is correct right descending limb of loop of henle is impermeable to water distal convoluted tubule is incapable of reabsorbing bicarbonate ions nearly 99% yes see this is your bowman's capsule this is the glomerulus you know this is the efferent jo fluid lekar aa raha hai i am explaining things this is the efferent efferent ka diameter is larger efferent ka diameter is smaller so there is pressure which is created here because of this pressure filtration occurs in the proximal convoluted tubule and filtration happens under pressure any filtration which happens under pressure is referred to as ultra filtration because of this filtration under pressure i excrete out glucose you excrete out 
you know yes extra waste materials important ions they are all excreted out and then the body wants them back is that clear so how will it take it back this effluent will wrap over it as vasa recta so 99% of the filtrate which happens from the glomerulus is reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule the proximal convoluted tubule has cuboidal epithelium with microvilli for reabsorption mcq question is that clear it is permeable it is capable right ascending limb is permeable to electrolytes if i have to draw it ascending limb say what does come out electrolytes descending limb say fluid is that clear which one of the following nearly is correct 99% of the glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed because filtration is happening under pressure i have excreted out unwanted extra material kyunki efferent ka diameter bada hai efferent ka diameter chhota hai maine extra material excrete out kar diya hai jo mujhe reabsorb karna hai reabsorption kahan hoga proximal convoluted tubule what is the epithelium of pct cuboidal epithelium with microvilli understood why is it called proximal kyunki bowman's capsule ke paas hai why is the other one called distal because it is away from the bowman's capsule the distal leads to collecting tubule right urine formation involves three main processes very important glomerular filtration which happens in the glomerulus look at the diameter here efferent is much bigger efferent is smaller so filtration you can see let me draw that with a black pen this filtration happens under pressure so there is glomerular filtration there is reabsorption which happens in the proximal convoluted tubule and tubular secretion that take part in different parts of the nephron filtrate usually 180 liters per day banta hai at the bowman's capsule but do we excrete 180 liters of urine no we excrete just about 1.5 liters of urine so 99% of it is reabsorbed the descending limb of henle is permeable to water right this is a loop of henle is that clear which is in the medulla part so this is the descending limb of henle this is the ascending limb of henle right ascending limb of henle so what is coming out in the interstitium space what is this which is coming out the ascending limb is impermeable to water but allows transport of electrolytes so ascending limb se electrolytes coming out jitne electrolytes aaye you know solute ke piche piche who comes behind the solute solvent so jitna yahan sodium aur electrolytes nikal rahe utna descending limb se kaun bahar aayega pani is that clear so descending limb for water you please this is the last time you are ever reading this discussing this you being taught this you got to remember this descending limb for water ascending limb for sodium and electrolytes is that clear right conditional that means depends on aldosterone depends on uh whether the blood volume and the blood pressure is 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 up to the level or not conditional reabsorption of sodium and water takes place in dct it is also capable of reabsorption of bicarbonate ions right for ph maintenance the principal nitrogenous excretory compound you can see me right there at the base is synthesized where it's not talking about excretion i told you right in the first slide i gave you a hint to this question where is what is the principal nitrogenous compound yes you are right it is the principal nitrogenous compound ye kaha banta hai anybody on my screen exactly it is in the liver why is the c statement wrong is it even excreted through the same through bile no i have told you in yesterday's lecture bile consists of bile salts sodium potassium taurocholic glycolic acid and bile pigments bilirubin biliverdin jinke badhne se jaundice ho jata hai yesterday's we've done it in detail so much of extra information shared per slide it is eliminated mostly through the kidneys is that clear chaliye let us move ahead the principal nitrogenous excretory compound in humans is urea urea is produced in a series of reactions called urea cycle which take part in the mitochondrial matrix and cytosol of liver cells right so it takes place in the liver cell urea cycle ka naam ornithine cycle bhi hota hai mcq twist ho ke aa sakta hai where does the ornithine cycle take place it takes place in the liver what is the function of ornithine cycle to kind of convert the waste material into urea in human being it's a series of biochemical reactions that convert ammonia from amino acids into highly toxic and carbon dioxide to much less toxic urea during the excretion of metabolic nitrogen derived from the deamination of excess amino acids we all have proteins proteins when you break them down give you amino acids amino is a toxic group so you deaminate it you remove the amino group who does it for you liver that is why liver is known as the seat of d 
detoxification. That is why people, extra information, please pay attention. That is why people who drink alcohol usually have liver cirrhosis because alcohol is also toxin. So where does the alcohol go for detoxification? It goes to the liver. Cool. Moving ahead. Which one of the following correctly explains the function of a specific part of the human nephron? Right? Henle's group, most reabsorption, I've just told you, most reabsorption will, have a, will happen at PCT. Right? No, it's generally bicarbonate ions. Efferent arterial carries blood away. Efferent brings towards. Who carries away? Efferent. Right, everybody? So, for filtration, now let me explain this. I'm deleting and let me explain. This is your Bowman's capsule and this is your glomerulus. Let's imagine. So tell me, will this cause filtration? Yes. Ab yahan se filtration hone ke liye, let me draw the capillary. So is capillary may bohat small, small holes honge, right? For filtration to happen. Very, very minute holes. These holes are called as fenestrae. What are the holes called of the capillary for filtration? Fenestrae. Now you tell me, very, very interesting and pay attention, right? Interesting, probably you've not learned this before. Very, very interesting. These holes from where the filtration will happen are called fenestrae. Agreed? Clear everybody? Chaliye. Now you tell me everybody, agar ye holes itne hi rahenge, so hamesha leak hota rahega. So tell me, even if we have a fan at home, can we regulate the speed of the fan or the air conditioner or whatever? Yes. So do you need regulator? So tell me, agar mein iske upar aise karke a covering chadha du, pay attention, agar mein iske upar aise karke covering chadha du, and jab mujhe, now pay a lot of attention, jab mujhe filtration kam karna hai, so see, mene covering ko mota kar diya, and jab mujhe filtration zada karna hai, so I've decreased the covering, I've made it very thin. Can you see the difference between A and B? Obviously, in A, filtration will be less because gap is less. In B, the filtration will be more because gap is more. So the coverings of the fenestrae, which will regulate the filtration. Fenestrae are the openings. The covering of the fenestrae, which regulate the opening, are called podocytes. Feet-like extensions. Feet-like extensions. They create small pores. Did you see in the previous slide? This is the podocyte. Let me call it the podocyte. The podocyte is creating these small spaces or the minute pores on the basis of which I will cause filtration in the Bowman's capsule. Is that clear? Podocytes can come in your high level NEET exam and in your AIMS exam. Is that clear to everybody sitting in my class? Let me try and draw this for you. Correct? And is everybody like this? Happy Chalye, let us move ahead. So the visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule surrounds the glomerulus and consists of special types of, visceral layer is a layer which is close to the glomerulus, right? It consists of podocytes. Podocytes are foot-like projections. Did you see this? The foot-like projections. The spaces are called the slit pores or the fenestrae. So the fenestrae have podocytes in them. The opening and closing of the podocytes will regulate the amount of exactly will regulate the amount of fluid which is leaking out that reminds me renin angiotensin aldosterone system with your mesangial cells and all is very 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 important i can give you a guarantee that one question 100 percent will come 100 percent will come from renin angiotensin aldosterone system 100 percent right renin pe aldosterone pe angiotensin pe a question aega how do they regulate the blood volume? How do they regulate the pressure? One question will come. I have discussed it in the YouTube lecture. There is also a webinar on it. Please see. I've discussed it in detail. I would really appreciate if you see because one question I have a feeling 100% will come from RAS. Which one of the following statements is correct with respect to kidney function regulation? Chalye. Right? Now there's a hormone called ADH. It's called vasopressin. Bhi kaha jata hai. Diuresis ka matlab kya hota hai? Let me explain it to you in a very organic, simple way. Ki exam mein aagya toh aap aaram se ye question kar lenge just by simple understanding. Koi ratka ni maarna hai. What is the meaning of diuresis? Kya matlab hota hai diuresis ka? Diuresis ka matlab hota hai absolutely right. Yes, maan gaye? Dilute urine. Chitna urine dilute hota raha hai, usko hum kya kahenge? Diuresis. Dilute urine. Point number one. Clear everybody? Point number two. Now, dance is huh? Point number two. If you have too much water, 
tell you. Too much water. So if you have too much water, what obviously? Your volume of the blood will increase. Yes, you will have more amount because water will eventually go into the circulation. Yes, everybody. So your urine should increase or decrease, tell me. It should obviously increase. Similarly, if the water is less, the volume of the blood is less, obviously the urine will also decrease. Right, everybody? So, can you imagine that there is a direct linkage between the volume and urine formation? Yes? So, diuresis ka jab matlab dilute urine hai, anti-diuresis ka matlab hoga dilute urine nahi aa raha hai. Right? Dilute urine, nahi aa So now read it. When someone drinks a lot of water, do you require antidiuresis? What is antidiuresis? Antidiuresis matlab dilute urine nahi aane dena. But when somebody has water, jab kisi ne paani piya hai, when somebody has extra water, we want dilute urine taki extra water nikal jaye. So antidiuretic release is suppressed. We don't want antidiuresis. We want diuresis is that clear so water more has to be therefore anti-diuresis has to be less is this last statement clear to everybody when the person drinks more water to regulate the volume there has to be urine more so anti against has to be stopped we are not against dilute urine we have to cause dilute urine are you understanding so, antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin increases the reabsorption of water in the distal convoluted tubule. It reabsorbs the water, right? So, this is your posterior pituitary, correct? Let me show it to you. This is your posterior pituitary which releases ADH or vasopressin. This also can come as an MCQ question, correct? This is your antidiuretic hormone from the posterior pituitary, right? And the adrenal gland secrete aldosterone. What do the aldosterone do? Let me explain it to you here. 100% MCQ question can come on this. Right, again, it's a part of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Is that clear, everybody? Is that clear, everybody? Yes. So, the answer is Aldosterone will increase sodium reabsorption. Yes, sodium could reabsorb. Kar dega. So, kidney may, the sodium will come back into circulation. Now, you tell me, and I've been telling this, especially to my regular students, continuously for the last two years, solute ke piche piche bhaga hua kaun aata hai? Agar kahi bhi solute ho, uske piche kaun aata hai solvent? Aap ek kaam kariye. Aap namak lije, take, na, take salt in a piece of vessel or a katori and put it on the dining table or any table and usko ek hafte baad dekho. Will the salt turn moist? Yes, because solutes kisko attract karta hai? Solvent ko attract karta hai. Is that clear? Solute attracts the solvent. So, jitna hum sodium ko reabsorb karenge, piche piche kaun aega? Water. So, aldosterone will increase sodium reabsorption, will increase water. So, it will increase the blood volume because water reabsorb ho gaya. It will increase the pressure. Is that clear? Right? Antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin increases the reabsorption of water. It is antidiuresis. Dilute urine nahi karwaega. Dilute matlab zada urine nahi. So, ye bhi kya karwaega? Reabsorb. Is that clear? Dilute urine nahi. Concentrated urine karwaega. Antidiuresis hai. So, it will reabsorb the water in the DCT. Kaha kaam karta hai? Question twist bhi ho sakta hai. ADH kaam kaha karta hai? They've asked you enough questions of ADH. Next time they will ask you where does it act? Collecting tubules will work. As a result, water will reabsorb. Is that clear? So, when someone drinks a lot of water, requirement of absorption of water decreases. So, ADH release will decrease. Otherwise, what is the function of ADH? It will reabsorb the water. Kab secrete hoga jab aadmi ne paani kam piya hai. Whenever somebody has less water, who will be secreted? Anti-diuretic hormone. Is that clear? Are you appreciating how we are discussing a question ka cheer paar karke usko detail mein discuss kar rahe Yes, everybody. Perfect. Uric or telic. Uric acid secrete karna. This is easy question. Ye questions I have discussed kar liye. Come on, everybody. Exactly. Right? Because ye dono kya hote hai? Right? Is that clear? Aquatic organisms karenge. Amnotelic mammals kya karenge? Yes, you are absolutely right. Ureotelic. 
Pokro shows uricotelism. Excretion of uric acid is known as uricotelism. Animals which live in dry condition have to conserve water in their bodies. Therefore, they synthesize crystals of uric acid from ammonia. Uric acid crystals are non-toxic and almost insoluble in water. Uricotelic organisms are cockroach, land reptiles, lizards and snakes, including some birds. Is that clear? Yes, this question was a neat question, but that year everybody got marks for this question. Why? Because there is, uh, you know, one option kind of wrong in it. Humans amnotelic nahi hai, ureotelic hai. Yes, is that clear? Frog, lizards, aquatic, amphibians, aquatic jo hai wo amnotelic honge. Right, everybody? Humans jo hai wo uricotelic nahi honge. Is that clear? Right? Frog, pigeon, lizards, aquatic, amphibia, cockroach will be yay. Right? So this question is a kindly little skewed question. Is that clear? Right? So let's move on to the next question on your screen. A fall in the glomerular filtration rate activates what? Agar glomerular filtration rate fall hota hai, what does it activate? Right? That means filtration kam ho raha hai, urine formation kam hoga. What is it going to activate? Come on everybody on my screen. Yes, yes, yes. Juxta, should I explain the renin angiotensin aldosterone system? Yes. Let me explain this very, very briefly. How much is required for your exam? Correct everybody? Yes. Dekho beta, agar GFR fall kar raha hai, that means filtration nahi ho raha hai. Please pay attention. Okay, very interesting and very, 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 very simple. So, very interesting. If GFR fall or means filtration nahi ho raha hai. Filtration nahi ho raha hai. Kyu nahi ho raha hai? Because the volume of the blood is less. Yes. Why? There could be some injury and loss of blood. Is that clear? The person is not drinking water. Person ko kahi chot lag gayi hai. He's fallen down. He's not able to move. Do tin jaga ekhi do tin din se ekhi jaga pe pada. Not able to consume water. So the blood volume has gone down. Now because the blood volume has gone down, the glomerular filtration rate also has gone down. So what should the body do? You tell me. Should the body not release aldosterone? Yes. Taaki wo reabsorb kare sodium ko. Yes. Taaki wo water ko reabsorb kare. Yes. Taaki blood volume increase ho, pressure increase ho, or GFR normal ho jaye. Therefore, you need to activate the complete renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Now, if I need to explain this to you in detail, this is your Bowman's capsule, right? This is your efferent, efferent. This is your PCT, loop of Henle, DCT, collecting duct, right? And this is your vasa recta. Is that clear, everybody? So somewhere here, vasa recta, your Bowman's capsule, your DCT, somewhere here there are cells which are referred to as the JG apparatus, the juxta glomerular apparatus. What is the function of juxta glomerular apparatus? Let me explain this to you. The function of the juxta glomerular apparatus is to compare the blood volume on one side with respect to the urine volume on other side. Now you tell me, agar blood volume decrease ho raha hai, should the urine increase? No, us time pe to urine ko bhi decrease hona chahiye aur urine se sara fluid blood ki taraf jana chahiye so that the blood volume can increase. Is that clear? Right? So, right in the middle of the blood volume and the urine volume, you have specialized cells of the body known as the juxtaglomerular cells who are regulating the blood volume and the urine volume to control the... And this entire thing happens to a system known as a renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. Is that clear? So, the amount of filtrate formed by the kidneys per minute is called glomerular filtration. Right? Ek minute mein kidney ne kitna filtration produce kiya, kitna filtrate produce kiya is called the GFR. This is an important value. It is around 125 milliliters per minute. That is around 180 liters per day. But you know it is reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule and only 1.3 liters is secreted per day. The kidneys have a built-in mechanism for the regulation of GFR. One such extremely efficient system is carried out by the JG cells, right, which is known as the juxtaglomerular apparatus. Agar GFR fall ho jai, to JG cells jo hai, wo renin release karte hai, which can stimulate the glomerular blood flow and therefore the GFR come back to normal. How? Through secretion of aldosterone. What will the aldosterone do? Increase sodium reabsorption, which will increase water reabsorption, which will increase blood volume, blood pressure, increasing the glomerular filtration rate. Is that clear to everybody? Yes. 
Now, this is a very, very simple question that they're asking you. Figure, these type of figures come in the examination. Yes, I could have put a nice colorful figure, but that will not solve the purpose because the figures which come in the examination are something very, very similar. It's only figures like this guy. Don't you agree that this A part which has been marked here is above the kidney? Do you agree with me or you don't agree with me? Come on. Do you agree? So it is above the kidney. So any part which is above the kidney like this, it's called a suprarenal gland. Supra for anything which is above. Supra. It's also known as adrenal gland. Adrenal gland, look at the anterior part of the kidney, secrete catecholamines, adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol, which stimulate glycogen breakdown. Glycogen will be converted to glucose. Right? By adrenaline, glycogen will be converted to glucose. What will the glucose do in the human body? The glucose will cause, yes, fight, flight. Is that clear? So, which is the correct statement? Yes, correctly, it is A, adrenal gland. Adrenal gland is located on top of the kidney because of which it is also known as suprarenal gland. Adrenaline, adrenal gland, adrenaline secrete karta hai. What does adrenaline do? Adrenaline breaks down glycogen, which is a stored form of Glucose, glycogenolysis karwata hai. Kya karwata hai? This question twist hoka aise bhi aasakta hai. What does it cause? It causes glycogenolysis. Glycogen ka breakdown karwai ga. Once the glycogen breaks down, what is it broken down into? It's broken down into glucose. This is also done by glucagon. Extra information. Glucagon bhi ye karwai ga. Ye karwai ga. Insulin. Is that clear? Blood sugar levels ko kam karega. Agar insulin nahi hai, glucose is not getting converted to glycogen. It's known as diabetes mellitus. Glycogen to glucose will be done by glucagon. Is that clear? Everybody in the class. And this glucose will help the body to do the fight flight by the adrenal hormones. Right? See, fight flight, glycogen to glucose. Is that clear? Right? B is renal pelvis. So, as I was telling you, B has to be renal pelvis. Is that clear? Renal pelvis is nothing but like a sac which collects the urine which is getting formed and leads it to ureters. Any doubts? So, this question has been dealt with in detail. Let us now move on to the next new question. Which one of the following? Yes, we've done this yesterday. Easy, simple question. Yes, which one of the following causes an increase in sodium reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubule? I was just doing a couple of minutes ago. If there is aldosterone which is secreted and you know it through the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. So if there is aldosterone which is secreted, you know aldosterone causes sodium reabsorption. And whenever sodium is reabsorbed, you all know that so many times I've repeated in the class, wherever the solute will be reabsorbed, Who's going to come behind the solute, right? Who's going to come run behind the solute? It has to be nothing but the solvent. So when the solvent comes behind the solute, it attracts it and therefore the amount, the volume of the water increases, increasing the BV, increasing the, yes, the pressure. Any doubts? So what has to be the answer? Which one of the following causes an increase in sodium reabsorption? Sodium reabsorbed, sodium ke piche piche water reabsorbed. It's an increase in the aldosterone levels. Any doubts? Okay. Let us move ahead. Aldosterone is a hormone which is secreted by the outer layer of the adrenal gland or the cortex. Important, this also can come in the MCQ question. Yes, look at this. So the middle part is called medulla of the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland is also known as the suprarenal gland. Why is it called the suprarenal gland? Because as you can very clearly see from the image, it is located above the kidneys. So it's known as the suprarenal gland. The adrenal gland has got an adrenal medulla or the middle portion, easy to remember, M for middle, M for medulla. And the adrenal gland has got an outer portion known as adrenal cortex. So the adrenal cortex consists of zoma glomerulosa, fasciculota and reticularis. Right? So adrenal gland, the outer layer say, Aata hai aldosterone, decreased blood volume jab bhi hoti hai. Whenever the volume of the blood is less, decreasing the pressure of the blood, it secretes aldosterone. Aldosterone aate hi kya karega? What will the aldosterone do? Ye saare sodium ko retain karna shuru kar dega filtrate se. Is that clear? It will reabsorb the sodium. So agar urinary tube se, ureter se, yes, kidneys mein, agar sodium reabsorb ho raha hai, piche piche kaun reabsorb ho ga? So sodium reabsorb. Piche piche kaun reabsorb hoga? The water will get reabsorbed. And when the water will get reabsorbed, the blood volume and the pressure will increase. Is that clear? So it is a way to manage the 
volume and the pressure now in the first few minutes i did tell you about the jg apparatus juxta glomerular apparatus so juxta glomerular apparatus dekhta rahega on one side is the blood volume and on the other side is the blood pressure so it will keep on regulating both of them correct agar humne pct remove kar diya you know this this is such an easy question we've done it abhi pehle hi kuch slides mein we've done it in so much detail to so, bowman's capsule ke ekdam baad kaun hota hai pct aur maine aapko abhi thodi der pehle bataya tha ki pct mein ye kaun laga hua hai cuboidal epithelium kya kaam hota hai pct ka pehle dusre question mein humne solve kiya tha 99 fluid person fluid ko kya kar lega reabsorb kar lega kyun kyunki upar kya hua hai upar ultra filtration hua hai under high pressure kuch aisi cheeze excrete ho gayi hai because the efferent is bigger the efferent is smaller so there was high pressure so some things like this have got excreted jo excrete nahi honi chahiye thi so because of that the filtration which is made has got unwanted material usme kuch aisi cheeze hai jo hame excrete nahi karni so we have to reabsorb to so pct ka kaam hota hai reabsorb karna is that clear the sole function of pct is reabsorption so if the pct is not functioning that means reabsorption nahi hoga तो अगर रिएब्सॉर्प्शन नहीं होगा तो यूरिन विल बी मोर डाइल्यूट डू यू अग्री विद मी गवर्नमेंट कैप्सूल के अंदर अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन हुआ है बिकॉज ऑफ विच सम एक्स्ट्रा फ्लूड हैज बीन रिमूव्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रोक्सिमल कॉन्वल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल नाउ बिकॉज द एक्स्ट्रा फ्लूड हैज बीन रिमूव्ड बिकॉज ऑफ प्रोक्सिमल कॉन्वल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल दैट एक्स्ट्रा फ्लूड नीड्स टू बी रिएब्सॉर्ब एंड इफ इट इज नॉट रिएब्सॉर्ब दैट मींस द पीसीटी इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपर्ली द यूरिन विल बी मच मोर डाइल्यूट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाई इज द ह्यूमन यूरिन एसिडिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल <coughs> you need to realize that human urine ko hame acidic banana hai because it is stored in the urinary bladder for some time you all agree with me isko hum thodi der ke liye urinary bladder mein store karte hain correct and because hum isko urinary bladder mein store karte hain because it is stored in the urinary bladder it might lead to some bacterial growth it might lead to some infections which we do not want hame nahi chahiye ki unnecessary infections ho jaye is that clear everybody are you getting my point so therefore i make it acidic so that the bacteria do not grow right potassium sodium ka koi lena dena nahi hai sodium transporter ka koi lena dena nahi hai plasma proteins hote hain albumin aur globulin globulin helps the body in giving immunity so agar kabhi koi question aaye what is igg iga igd ige and igm made up of what are the antibodies made up of so they are made up of globulins is that clear is that clear to everybody in my class yes perfect and albumin along with sodium maintains the volume of the blood so it is only that the hydrogen ions are secreted actively actively means we require atp to do it so we secrete the hydrogen ions in the urine when we secrete the hydrogen ions in the urine it becomes acidic why is it acidic because we do not want any bacteria to grow is that clear so hydrogen ions are actively secreted into the filtrate why are the hydrogen ions actively secreted in the filtrate so that the urine can be stored for some time if it is acidic if it contains the hydrogen ions the bacteria will not grow there any doubts anything that you have not been able to follow or understand let us move ahead yeah so we secrete hydrogen ions thereby making the urine extremely acidic okay chaliye a decrease in blood pressure or volume will not cause now see this is a indirect question good question indirect question whenever the volume will increase volume can increase because of renin angiotensin aldosterone system matlab aapne aldosterone secrete kiya jisne sodium ko reabsorb kiya jiski wajah se water reabsorb hua jiski wajah se blood volume bad gaya jiski wajah se pressure bad gaya is that clear so when this happens the heart needs to pump more is that clear the heart needs to pump vigorously the heart needs to pump more so there's more pressure on the heart so the heart will secrete after some time atrial natriuretic factor anh jiski wajah se the heart will become slow jab bahut zyada beat kar dega pressure normalize ho jayega then it will secrete a decrease in pressure a pressure decrease ho gaya hai not kya release nahi hoga atrial natriuretic factor release nahi hoga because the pressure is less heart stretch nahi ho raha hai so when the bb is more the p is more the heart moves more that time to regulate the heart heart is doing like this yes so too much pressure that time it will secrete anh or atrial natriuretic factor but when the pressure is normal it's low the volume is low you will not secrete anf because anf is going to regulate the heart it will 
इट विल काइंड जो फास्ट बीट कर रहा है उसको नॉर्मलाइज करेगा पर अभी तो फास्ट बीट कर ही नहीं रहा है अभी तो नॉर्मल बीट कर रहा है तो ए एन एफ सिक्रीट नहीं होगा इज दैट क्लियर ए एन एफ इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर लोअरिंग ऑफ दैट प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम इन द प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम इज हाई और क्यों हाई हुआ है क्योंकि एल्डोस्ट्रॉन ने सोडियम को रीअब्सॉर्ब कर दिया जिसने वॉल्यूम को बढ़ा दिया जिसने प्रेशर को बढ़ा दिया है राइट इट अपोजिज द आर ए एस सो दिस एंड दिस ऑल ऑफ देम आर एंटागोनिस्टिक वॉल्यूम प्रेशर जो बढ़ी है वो एल्डोस्ट्रॉन आर ए एस की वजह से बढ़ी है जो प्रेशर कम होगा वो ए एन एफ की वजह से कम होगा इज दैट क्लियर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट एनी थिंग दट यू नॉट बीन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग दट एनी बडी इन द क्लास इज नॉट बीन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ये विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट वी डन इट सो मेनी टाइम्स अभी पहले ही हमने किया है येस ये रहा आपका लूप ऑफ एनले इज दैट क्लियर यहां से क्या निकल के आता है सोडियम और यहां से क्या निकल के आता है उतना ही understood so the ascending limb of loop of henle is impermeable to water ascending limb se kya what comes out and descending limb se what comes out so the ascending limb this is descending because it's going down you can see it we've done it few minutes before also this is ascending so the ascending limb of the loop of henle is impermeable to water it is permeable to sodium is that clear Yes, descending limb of loop of Henle is permeable to water but impermeable to electrolytes. Ascending limb of loop of Henle is impermeable to water but permeable to electrolytes. Is that clear? Any doubts? Any doubts? Super duper cool. Chaliye. Again, I am reminding you, I have made amazing YouTube webinars on human physiology. There are at least four webinar, four YouTube lectures. on the neat biology youtube channel yes on this i've explained the loop of henle in detail you must go and watch them right excretion of nitrogenous waste this is again something which we've done in the first five slides ammonotelic secretion of ammonia ureotelic secretion of urea yes uricotelic secretion of uric acid so semi solid form mein kya secrete hota hai exactly well answered uricotelic organisms right secrete uric acid crystals and poop in semi solid forms ammonotelic are nothing but ammonia which is aquatic urea is kind of solid and amniotes are the ones which have amniotic sac that we're talking about the embryo the embryo has got the chorion the amnion and the allantois the allantois is nothing but a fluid filled sac which helps in protection of the body of the baby it's a shock absorber oxygen is exchanged through the chorion extra information in every slide and amniotic sac is the excretory kidney or the waste product is that the humans are ureotelic aquatic organisms who have large surface area maine pehle hi mention kiya hai aquatic organisms jinke paas large surface area hota hai bahut toxic ammonia secrete karte hain uric acid is by anhydrous organisms right now see carefully i have made a list of ammonotelic because ye mcqs mein bahut common bhi aata hai take a snapshot write it down please is that clear so ammonotelic excrete ammonia it is suited to aquatic habitat as you know so tadpoles secrete ammonia whereas adult frogs secrete urea this is a multiple times mcq question uricotelic this is the form of uric acid you can see aquatic animals secrete ammonia so uricotelic organisms excrete uric acid in the form of semi solid we have just discussed this most of the terrestrial animals including insects terrestrial gastropods snails phyla reptiles and birds excrete mainly uric acid urea excrete karne wale earthworm pehle question mein earthworm option tha gastropods some gastropods adult amphibians like you know a frog lascobranch fishes and mammals excrete urea jo amino excrete secrete karenge this can come in mcqs right phyla starfish sea cucumbers echinodermatas unio any doubts anything that you have not been able to understand or follow cool let us move ahead consider the following statements flame cells are excretory structures in flat worms green glands are excretory structures in annelids renal column of vertini are the conical projections of renal pelvis into renal medulla between the renal pyramids which of the following statements are correct yes so which of the following statements are, are one of the above which of the following statements are correct or incorrect b and c are incorrect yes green glands or antenal glands are a pair of coelom ducts found in third segment of crustaceans arthropods 
that open into the exterior. They function as osmoregulatory organs. Kidney or renal capsule consists of outer dark region called cortex and inner medulla. Ye aapko pata hai? Yes, if I make this, what do we call the outer region? Cortex. And inner region ko kya dete hai? medulla. Right? So is med now, which is divided into a number of conical areas called medullary pyramids. Between these medullary pyramids are substance of the cortex. In ki beech mein cortex extend karta hai. Forming the renal column of Bertini. Yahan kya likha hai? Are conical projections of renal pelvis? No, they are projections of the cortex into medulla. Is that clear? Renal columns of Bertini, ye bahar ka jo cortex part medulla may extend karta hai. Cortex medulla may boe. And annelids hai? No. See what I have written. Green glands are or antennal glands are a pair of ducts found in the third segment of crustaceans or arthropods. So is it annelids? Is that clear? Is that clear? Are you understanding the theory with every slide? Super cool. Which one of the following is not? A nitrogenous waste product. Creatinine, which is our muscles, they have creatinine phosphate. Hota hai. It's like a ATP molecule. It's a high energy molecule. So muscles ko zarurat ho sakti hai beech mein to have a high energy molecule. So the high energy molecule which is present in the muscles is known as creatinine phosphate. Is that clear to everybody? It's known as creatinine phosphate. Purines are nitrogenous waste materials, allantoin, nitrogenous waste material. This is why I have allantoin. What did you tell me? You three embryo ke coverings. Amnion, chorion and allantoin. Citrulline is like an amino acid. Is that clear? It's not really. It's an amino acid. It's one component of the ornithin cycle which is going on in the liver. Rest three of them are nitrogenous waste products. How do muscles store extra phosphate or energy? You know that the muscles have oxygen stored. Muscles extra information. Very important from MCQ point of view. Please pay attention. Muscles have oxygen stored. That is in the form of myoglobin. Is that clear? And muscles ke paas jo ATP store hota, that's in the form of creatinine phosphate. Purines, pyrimidins, nitrogenous waste material, ATGCs, allantoin in the fetus. Citrulline is an amino acid. It's not at all a correct nitrogenous waste product. Which one of the following? This is a very, very, very raised to power infinity important MCQ question. Which one of the following is an example of guanotelism mode of excretion? Guanotelism con karta hai. Guanine con secrete karta hai? Cockroach. Is that clear? It's like a modification of the uric acid formation. Is that clear? Spiders karte hai, arachnids karte hai, cockroaches karte hai. It's a modification of the uric acid type of mode of excretion. It's a very important MCQ question. Chaliye, which one of the following is not correct? With respect to human kidney. In me se konsa point correct nahi hai. Peripheral region ko cortex or central region ko medulla kehte hai. Chaliye bataiye. Yes. Malphigian corpuscles are present in the cortex. Blood enters through. Correct. Sahi pakda. Everybody right. How does the blood enter? The blood enters through efferent which is thicker. And it forms a glomerulus. And how does it leave? It leaves through the efferent. Is that clear everybody? Is that clear? Are you able to understand? So it enters through the efferent and it leaves through the efferent. Very, 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 very important. Is that clear? Right? Correct, incorrect wale exam mein kam se kam chari ya panch questions aayenge. Not necessarily from human physiology, in fact from the entire topic. Please, I've been teaching for the past 10 years. I have so many of my students even sitting in Ames, All India Institute of Medical Sciences. So many of them sitting in government medical colleges across the country. In fact, some of them even sitting in top medical colleges on scholarship in United States of America and Canada. I have to say that the majority of the children are saying that correct and incorrect. Not correct is written, but correct is written. Incorrect likha hota hai, jalda baaji mein sirf correct padkar aja te hai. So this is very important. You have to do it well. Is that clear? So the blood enters through efferent. It leaves through efferent. Konke part ko hilum ya hilus hi kehte hai. Bahar ka part hota hai cortex or inner ka part hota hai medulla. And malphigian corpuscles are present in the cortex region. Aisa hota hai. Loop of henle medulla mein aja te hai. Corpuscles kaha hota hai? Cortex mein like this. And where will the loop of Henle come from? Look, 
लूप ऑफ एनले कहा जाएगा लूप ऑफ एनले जो है वो मेड्यूला तक एक्सटेंड हो जाएगा करेक्ट 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 कॉन्केव पार्ट को हाइलस कहते हैं बिल्कुल ठीक है मेल्फ्यूजन कॉर्पसल इज प्रेजेंट द कॉर्टेक्स 100% राइट द पेरिफेरल रीजन इज कॉल्ड कॉर्टेक्स एंड सेंट्रल पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज मेड्यूला करेक्ट सो ब्लड एंटर्स थ्रू द इनकमिंग आर्टेरियल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज एफरेंट एंड इट लीव्स थ्रू द आउटगोइंग आर्टेरियल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड इफरेंट इफरेंट ही प्रोक्सिमल कॉन्वोल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल डिस्टल कॉन्वोल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल लूप ऑफ एनले के ऊपर ऐसे ऐसे घूमेगा करेक्ट सो ये एफरेंट ये इफरेंट एंड सपोज ये ऐसे है सो इफरेंट को मैं ब्लैक से बना देती हूं इट्स गोइंग टू गो लाइक दिस इट्स गोइंग टू फॉर्म द वासा रेक्टा सो इफरेंट विल फॉर्म द वासा रेक्टा वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड व्हाट विल इट डू इट विल रीअब्सॉर्ब व्हाट विल इट डू इट विल रीअब्सॉर्ब एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट क्लियर सो द वन व्हिच इज गोइंग इज एफरेंट द एफरेंट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम आर्टरी द इफरेंट इज गोइंग टू रीअब्सॉर्ब ऑन द वासा रेक्टा एंड दिस विल गो टू द रीनल वेन any doubts anything that you've not been able to understand super cool ultra filtration in nephron means it's a i've been saying this from the beginning it is a filtration which is happening under pressure can you all see that efferent will always be thicker this will be thick exactly can you all also see that this will be always thinner yes so because a efferent thick hai or efferent thin hai so because of that there will be pressure which is created here and this pressure will help in ultra filtration any doubts so it's a filtration under pressure iski wajah se bahut extra material nikal jata hai aur extra material nikalne ki wajah se hame usko reabsorb karna padta hai jo kya karega vasa recta ultra filtration is a filtration which is happening under pressure see like this like a biochemical reactor too much of pressure the structural peculiarities help for the purpose of capillaries jo hai glomerulus ki they have more blood than other capillaries इनकी एंडोथेलियल लाइनिंग बहुत फ्लैटेंड है कल मैंने आपको फेनेस्ट्री और पोडोसाइट्स अभी शुरू की क्लास में करवाया है यस इज दैट क्लियर तो जो फेनेस्ट्री और पोडोसाइट्स है मुझे ये बताइए क्या उनमें गैप्स थे यस अगेन सी पोडोसाइट्स द गैप्स वर देयर सो दीस गैप्स की वजह से फिल्ट्रेशन होती है एंड बिकॉज़ द ब्लड इज कमिंग विद मोर प्रेशर एंड गोइंग स्लोली सो द फिल्ट्रेशन विल हैपन सो जो जो निकल जाएगा ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेट जो एक्स्ट्रा मटेरियल निकल जाएगा वाटर ग्लूकोस अमाइनो एसिड्स विटामिंस यूरिया यूरिक एसिड तो निकलेगा ही इसके अलावा ग्लूकोस अमाइनो एसिड्स और विटामिंस निकल जाएंगे सो टेल मी एवरीबॉडी ये जो ग्लूकोस अमाइनो और विटामिंस है क्या हम इनको रीअब्सॉर्ब करेंगे एग्जैक्टली एंड द रीअब्सॉर्बशन हैपेंस थ्रू वासा रेक्टा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन वेयर आर द पोडोसाइट्स फाउंड आर दे इन द लूप ऑफ हेनली बेलिनीज डक्ट नो द पोडोसाइट्स आर इन द वेसल्स ऑफ द बोवेंस कैप्सूल दे आर इन द ग्लोमेरुलस राइट सो वेयर आर दे दे आर इन द बोवेंस कैप्सूल व्हाट आर पोडोसाइट्स द कैपिलरीज हैव अ गैप सबको पता है कैपिलरीज के पास गैप होता है उस गैप में से फिल्ट्रेशन होती है और मैंने आपको अभी शुरू की क्लास में बताया था कि कैसे उस गैप को रेगुलेट करते हैं वी रेगुलेट द गैप इज दैट दिस बोवेंस कैप्सूल इज अ डबल वर्ल्ड ब्लाइंड कप व्हिच एंड्स इन द यूरिनिफरस ट्यूब्यूल और द यस प्रोक्सिमल कॉन्वोल्यूटेड ट्यूब्यूल इसके पास यहां स्पेशलाइज्ड एपिथेलियल सेल्स होते हैं कॉल्ड पोडोसाइट्स द पोडोसाइट्स रेगुलेट द अमाउंट ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन फिल्ट्रेशन इज हैपनिंग थ्रू दीस गैप्स इन गैप्स को कौन रेगुलेट करेगा इनमें पूरा बंद हो गए अब इन गैप से कुछ नहीं निकल सकता इसमें से अभी कुछ गैप है सी दिस स्टिल सो मच गैप सो हु विल रेगुलेट द कैपिलरी गैप्स पोडोसाइट्स व्हाट आर दे दे आर फीट लाइक एक्सटेंशंस राइट वेयर आर द रीनल पिरामिड सीन वी हैव जस्ट डन इट जस्ट डन इट वेयर आर द पिरामिड सीन दे आर सीन इन द मेड्यूला इज दैट क्लियर Yes, और पिरामिड्स के बीच में क्या होता है कॉलम्स ऑफ बर्टिनी द पिरामिड्स लेट्स लुक एट दिस ब्यूटीफुल डायग्राम दैट आई हैव वेयर आर सी नाउ दिस इज द कॉर्टेक्स कैन यू सी दैट जो इसके बाहर है दिस इज द कॉर्टेक्स इज दैट क्लियर और कॉर्टिकल मटेरियल कैन यू ऑल एप्रिशिएट द कॉर्टिकल मटेरियल इज कमिंग इनसाइड यस दीस आर कॉल्ड द रीनल कॉलम्स ऑफ बर्टिनी एंड कैन यू सी द वन दैट आई एम गोना मेक विद रेड कलर दिस इज द रीनल pyramid what is it it's called the renal pyramid the pyramids are always in the medulla the medulla is subdivided into 15 or 16 conical masses they are known as the renal pyramids the base is a broad base c the base is at the cortex this is a broad base which is at the cortex any doubts which one of these is not a part of the uniferous tubule right is it the loop of henle is it the collecting duct is it the bowman's capsule or is it the distal convex the collecting duct 
राइट इट्स नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द ट्यूब्यूल तीन या चार ये खूब सारे जो होते हैं टूगेदर द बोमेंस कैप्सूल वो जाते हैं आपके एक कलेक्टिंग डक्ट पे राइट सो दिस बोमेंस कैप्सूल करेक्ट एवरीबडी दिस इज द पीसीटी दिस विल बी योर लूप ऑफ एनले दिस विल बी योर डीसीटी दिस विल बी योर एफरेंट इफरेंट glomerulus this is known as a uriniferous tubule the collecting duct will be here like this this is your collecting duct the collecting duct is not a part of the uriniferous tubule is that clear uriniferous tubule is another name of nephron collecting duct this is the collecting duct see here it is not a part so the bowman's capsule the pct the loop of enle descending ascending dct is all a part of the bowman's capsule or of nephron but the collecting duct is not a part of the nephron so with that we nearly come to the end of the question slides on the human excretory system i will be taking up the next system in tomorrow's class is that clear let's do the last question the region of the nephron found in the renal medulla i've just done it with you few minutes ago i told you medulla mein yes where are the cups the cups are going to be in the cortex where are the bowman's capsule where are the cups they go to be in the cortex right to ek bar dobara bana lete hain ye bahar wala portion hamara cortex hai ye inner wala portion hamara medulla hai where are the cups the cups are in the cortex to ye aise dikhenge aur ye kya hai loop of henle is that clear what are these these are loops of henle any doubts so the henle's loop are always in the renal medulla right you see this this is the cortex and this is the medulla is that clear everybody right so these are always in the medulla kidney is an excretory organ it can be divided into two regions the outer dark region the cortex and the inner lighter region with striated appearances nephrons are the structural and functional unit malpighian corpuscle mein bowman's capsule hongi bowman's capsule will be in the cortex the loop of henle hogi jo kahan tak extend kar jayegi medulla tak extend kar jayegi any doubts right any doubts anything that you've not been able to understand in today's class yes you can write them down i'm going to be waiting for a couple of minutes when everybody leaves you can stay back and ask me doubts so many of you are mailing me every single day telling me fabulous things about how vedanta is truly changing your lives how you are absolutely loving and enjoying this zoology section all that i have to say to each one of you on behalf of the entire vedanta team not only me on behalf of the entire team we are humbled thank you so much for all the love for the likes for the shares for the subscribes for the mails that you sent me i feel so good it makes us feel so good it makes us feel that we are definitely definitely doing great work so many of you whom i have never met i have never met you in my entire life i don't even know where you stay yes from which part of the country you belong which college you went to which coaching did you go but you in this last one month write me mails and that completely completely you know i am so 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 humble so please accept my gratitude a big thank you from the entire team vedantu i hope our um, you know labor is helping you and you come out with flying colors so with that i uh, i just want you to work very 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 hard and fulfill all your dreams with that i take uh bye bye for today i will see you tomorrow and i will bring about a next new topic and we will do that in detail